Hello everyone, my name is Kevin, and I'm an Associate Solutions Architect at AWS. Today, I'll be navigating through the enhancements made to the error messages we'll use in group provisioning when using IAM Identity Center, and how you can find the error messages within your AWS account using CloudTrail. IAM Identity Center provides a unified platform where you can manage access to both your AWS accounts and applications through one consolidated service in order to simplify the process of administrating, monitoring, and the auditing of user permissions across your entire AWS ecosystem. IAM Identity Center can be used to connect AWS to your existing Active Directory or Identity Provider, such as Entra ID, formerly known as Azure Active Directory, Jump Cloud, Okta, Google Workspaces, and more, to allow the use of an existing pool of users and groups within the AWS environment. This allows users of IAM Identity Center to access AWS accounts and applications using existing organizational credentials and reduce the overhead associated with user management and multiple identity sources. When connecting IAM Identity Center to an existing Active Directory or identity provider, you can simplify user provisioning and group management by setting up automatic provisioning through the SKIM protocol so that any changes to users or groups that you make within your external identity source will automatically be reflected in AWS. But what happens when things don't go as planned? When users fail to provision from your external identity source to IAM Identity Center, it can be due to a number of common errors, such as missing required identity profile attributes, rate limiting, incorrect attribute mappings, and more. How do you effectively troubleshoot and investigate these issues when so many possible causes exist? This is where CloudShell can assist, as these provisioning errors are logged within the CloudShell service to provide you with more actionable information that help you locate and address the cause of the issue. CloudTrail provides an event history of your AWS account activity, including actions taken through the AWS Management Console, AWS SDKs, command line tools, and other AWS services in order to provide you with a source of observable data that can aid in security analysis, user exchange tracking, and troubleshooting. By default, the event history in CloudTrail only shows the last 90 days of your account's activity, but you can store the logs for longer period of time or indefinitely by creating a trail, a configuration within the service that enables the delivery of CloudTrail events to an S3 bucket. But while CloudTrail is great for finding information on activity that has already happened, it can be difficult to know exactly when an error occurs unless you're notified of it. For example, by a user raising a support ticket because they are unable to sign in to AWS. To address this, we can set up alarms which can alert you when specific errors occur so that you can more proactively identify when these failures happen and address them more immediately. The creation of alarms and alerts is done through the CloudWatch service, which integrates natively with CloudTrail events. CloudWatch alarms allow you to monitor a metric, such as the number of API errors that occur, and perform an action when the alarm threshold is met. Some actions that can be performed include sending a notification to a simple notification service topic, forming an Amazon EC2 action, invoking Lambda functions, and more. Let's navigate over to the AWS console to see how you can find error messages for provisioning issues that can occur while using skin provisioning with IMA Data Center and how you can set up a CloudWatch alarm to notify you when these events happen. In the AWS console, you want to search and click on the CloudTrail service. Click on Event History. Click on the drop down menu under Lookup Attributes and set it to Event Name. In the search bar next to Lookup Attribute, search for a relevant Skim API. I'll provide a full list of Skim APIs towards the end of the video. In this example, I'll be using Create User to show an error message related to a user provisioning issue. Click on the Settings icon next to the search bar and enable Error Code as a visible column to make it easier to identify which event has the error information that we can use to aid our troubleshooting. Select the relevant CloudTrail finding with an error. Here, the event record provides us the JSON text of the API request. We can see that the relevant information, such as event time, which tells us when the error occurred, the event name, which is the API action that was performed, and the error code and error message, which provides us with detailed information about the issue that occurred during this operation. In this example, we can observe that the error message states the attribute name, family name, is required. This tells us that the user provisioning from our identity source failed because the user was missing a family name attribute, which is acquired for IAM Identity Center. Now, if you want to set up an alert so we are notified whenever an error occurs, we will need to set up CloudTrails to send its events to CloudWatch. To do this, click on Trails. Click on a trail that you want to send events to in CloudWatch. If you do not have a trail listed here, you need to create one. Verify that CloudWatch logs is configured for the trail. 
If not, click on Edit next to CloudWatch Logs. Check the box for Enabled. Create or choose an existing log group. Create or choose an existing IAM role. Click on Save Changes. After we finish setting up our trail, we can now go to CloudWatch service to begin setting up our alarm. Before we begin creating a CloudWatch alarm, we will need to set up a metric filter for our log group to filter specific events and errors that we want to monitor. In this example, I'll be walking through the steps to filter and create an alarm for create user failures that occur. To do this, click on log groups. Click on the log group that you configured for your trail. Click on metric filters. Click on create a metric filter. Enter a filter pattern, the one I'm using will filter for any create user errors. Click on next. Enter a filter name, metric namespace, metric name, and metric value. Click on next. Click on create metric filter. Now that we created a metric filter, we can begin creating a long that will notify us whenever a create user error occurs. To do this, click on all alarms. Click on create alarm. Click on select metric. Search for the metric we created. Click the checkbox next to the metric and click on select metric. For statistic, change to a sum. Select greater or equal for the alarm condition and input a threshold value of 1. Click on Next. Click on Create New Topic and specify the email you wish to have an allocation sent to. Click on Create Topic. Click on Next. Name the alarm. Click on Next. Click on Create Alarm. With this, we now have an alarm that will send an email whenever a create user error occurs. You can expand upon this by creating metric filters and alarms for more APIs, and even set up in a dashboard in CloudWatch that will provide a centralized view of alarms, error counts, and other information you specify. The list of Scheme API calls that support Enabus Cloud Gel and that you can use for your CloudWatch alarms are the following. Create group, create user, delete group, delete user, get group, get schema, get user, list groups, List resource types, list schemas, list users, patch group, patch user, put user, and service provider config. With the enhancements made to error messaging for IMI Data Center for revisioning issues, you can use Cloud Shell to more effectively troubleshoot issues that occur when connecting your external identity source with IMI Data Center, instead of CloudWatch to notify you when these errors occur for more proactive resolution. Thank you for your time and ensure that you consult the IAM Identity Center documentation for more information and examples of the air messaging of vision issues that can occur.